Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I shudder to think how much work and submissions I will have this time next week, as we will be fully in the July 4th weekend sales. Although some of you have told me that this is the first time that you are planning on not buying anything major for a number of reasons, from the game being broken to not being happy with compensation, to the uh, expectation and or desire for, shall we say, a guaranteed Hercules. Outside of that, not interested. Mr. Sigla here is interested in submitting something that is uh, a whole bunch of different crystals of data, including side quest calves. And I'm really hoping to finally see somebody get on video something worth getting excited about these. On paper, you know, who doesn't want a shot, speaking of Hercules, at six-star Hercules and a side quest crystal? Especially when you can get the shards for free. That's a good five-star. Great five-star. Max six five-star. But, you know, this is a reminder. We had somebody on the live stream last night who came in and said, Prof, I spent all the units I've been saving on Cavalier Crystals because I'm uncollected and I wanted good champions. And, of course, what do you think he got? How about all three stars? So, you, you want to spend units and cash on guaranteed outcomes in this game. As fun as it is to open crystals, at least open Nexus crystals, where you have three different options instead of one. Once a Nexus crystal came in the game, I thought, this is what you gotta wait. Now, obviously, I will sometimes still, um, on Thursdays, spend for the new champion just to have some content on my channel, but if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would never spend units on featured Cavalier crystals. Never. Nope. And we're starting to get that run, speaking of three stars, of a lot of three stars. Yep. A lot of three stars and some four stars. The five-star Captain Marvel movie is clearly the best part of this. But I want to see someone finally get a six-star on video. Is it going to happen here? It's all just three and four stars now. I call these crystals like ultimate crystals, where it feels like you have a 20% chance at a 4-star and 80% chance at a 3-star, and 5-stars and 6-stars are, like this real, almost invisible for most of them. And I don't think that's how Kabam wants it, but they've done a horrible job designing the real, too. Like, featured calves, for whatever reason, they have a lot more 6-stars and 5-stars, at least visually, in the real. This, it's almost like if you get a 5-star in the real, you're going to land on it, because otherwise... It doesn't appear, although I say that in Void was just the champion to the right of that ending reel. But after a, a fairly strong start with the five-star Captain Marvel movie, this is a good example of why we shouldn't be overly excited about this, especially with drop rates not increasing. There's the second five-star, though, speaking of finally seeing a five-star. So, I mean, when you step back... If you're opening, what, 15 and 2 out of 15 or 5 stars, that's about what you'd expect, unfortunately. But 0, 6 stars is also what you sadly would have to expect. I get a 6 star from these about once every 3 months. I get about 4 per year if I'm lucky. 3 to 4. If it's been a bad year, I get like 2. That's just the reality of the RNG for Cavalier Crystals and especially side quest Cavalier Crystals. Okay. Now... We've got 12 Nexus. Awaken 5-star Red Hulk. Congratulations. That's a fantastic start. Look at the difference in this and the side quest caps, right? A 3-star, a 4-star, and, and a really good 5-star that you can awaken. Way more guaranteed value. I know the others were free and these were not, but way more guaranteed value. 4-star Spider-Man 2099. There we go! Boom! Perfect example of why a Nexus crystal should always be valued and sought after over a regular crystal. Six star Penny Parker, three star Storm is haunting you, by the way. Uh, that's awesome. Hate, hate, hate fighting her in any capacity, but especially Battlegrounds. She's on my automatic ban list. Alright. Three and four stars. All three stars. 
all three stars. There's another five star. Another five star. And a new five star Captain Britain. That pink sword always kind of distracts me a little bit for a moment. I'm like, what? Pink sword? Oh, yeah. That was a really good batch of ten. And you still got two more, right? Mr. Sigla. Five star Carnivore Thor. And a five star Fiona Shrek. What a five dollars that last two were. That was awesome. Compare that to the drop rates of the side quest calves, and it is a joke, and yet they technically have the same drop rates. All right. Seven, eight, nine. Nine featured six stars? Good luck. I just. Assuming it's not the Black ISO store, and that's a big assumption. That's 135,000 six star shards. Almost 14 basics. I would choose 14 basics every time over this set of feature. If, if this was Hercules and Cosmic Ghost Rider and, I don't know, even Black Cat maybe. But there's my prom date, Invisible Woman. I just can't endorse this badge. Maybe you'll get really lucky. Maybe this is for Doom, right? I get that, but for everyone that gets doomed, there are going to be a thousand Black Panther Civil Wars. At least that's how it feels. Alright, and Captain Britain, same day you get the five star, you get the six star, two pink swords. Alright. Wow, nine featured six stars. Now, I think that's going to be the title of this video, but... Of course, you clicked on it for nine featured six stars. You also got 15 side quest calves and what, 12 of the Wednesday Nexus. So this, this video is just jam packed with hoarding. It'll make Kabam Mike not be able to sleep for, for months. Electro, what a shocker. No. Nah. Two more. Come on, Doom. Show yourself. Or Ultron, at least. Or Immortal Abomination. See? Those are my top three choices Immortal Abomination, Doom, and Ultron, if I'm somebody who doesn't have those outside the featured pool. And none of them have shown up. God, featured crystals are so shady. I'm just not a fan. Well, Papa Luke, you awakened yourself. Still haven't been able to awaken my Luke Cage. Even though I got uppercutted by one in Incursions. He is looking for that Doom. Continues to look for that Doom in the real. He will not find the Doom. God. This featured crystal could have been so much better. Well... Thank you for the submission. I'm excited to put this on the channel. Always an honor to commentate your crystal openings and have a great rest of your day.